want them on this finger this finger and then the rest I'll do like French I don't know if she has bows but I want a bow I want to I want my nails coquette AF because what I will be wearing on Valentine's Day is coquette AF I have a list of things that I need and I want to go in and get out so I don't buy any unnecessary things. I know when I get into Ulta I start forgetting everything that I did I was supposed to do. And I just start freestyling. But I cannot freestyle because we're in a new year and your girl is trying to be financially sound and financially responsible. $172 at Ulta and all of those good things. So, things that are not accounted for, things that weren't accounted for, are not bought. And that's what I'm really glad. So, yeah. to get some skincare things that I need um, one of them is right here but I don't think that's where it's supposed to be so I'm gonna go find where it actually is supposed to be I think somebody might have dropped it on their way like out type situation I actually do not like coming to places like this when on a Saturday or Sunday on the weekend period because it's just it gets to be too much for me a bit of social anxiety so I'll hear what she wants <laughs> she's got her page <laughs> alright there's this app and there's this app that like you use and you just like scan things and then it tells you like you know the issues not issues with it but like the chemicals that are in it that may be not on the good side and someone scanned the, the Cetaphil one and it was like red so that means there are a lot of chemicals in there that are not necessarily good for you or your body and all this stuff but the La Roche Posay one was good so that being said we got one of the goods we have two more things that I want here and then I'm going to not walk but run out of here before I spend any more <laughs> look I broke my nail uh, trying to set up my equipment so I can do this video for y'all I broke my nail I got my nails done this morning for anybody who's forgetting like literally not even like four hours ago what's that about look at it oh my gosh it looks like i'm sitting because <laughs> i was sitting the middle finger up at you but i'm not look look there is a bow that's supposed to be there why is there no bow why is there no bow I went in there for skincare. I did re up on some other things. Did re up on some other things. Things that weren't accounted for or not bought. So, a little Ulta haul, um, mini, but expensive. Expensive, but mini. Okay? Those two words don't even match. Mini, expensive, like it should be big, granular, large, ginormous. $172 at Ulta. This is my, this is my very happy face for five things. 
uh, we're gonna start with the skincare like I said first this is the main thing that I went in there for I've been looking for a new cleanser and here she is La Roche Posay this is their gentle foaming moisturizing wash um, this is good for your body and face I'll be using it for my face um, I don't know if you guys use the Yuka app but I was telling you guys about it and it just basically tells you what the ingredients are, if they're clean ingredients. And this is not a sponsorship at all. I only got 300 subscribers, y'all. Yeah. I don't know why we get a sponsorship for. <laughs> this is the Cost RX Nail Mucin. I think I'm saying that right. Had to, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to. Test it out and see if y'all are whipping or waving, like right. Like are you guys whipping or waving for a reason or are y'all just doing a lot? My goal um, for this whole skincare change and getting all the skincare products is I do want to brighten my skins and I want to get rid of my under eye bags. So that's why we're doing this. Black girl sunscreen, this speaks for itself. So got some black girl sunscreen cause I'm a black girl and I don't like to look white pasty. So got her, this is the 30 SPF. Then we got the Mario Badescu. I don't know how to say that, Mario Badescu, hopefully. Um, vitamin C, like I said, I'm trying to brighten my skin and vitamin C is one of those big things. These go hand in hand. When you're using vitamin C, you have to use a sunscreen. Also, when you're using niacinamide, this has niacinamide in it. So the sunscreen was necessary now these are the things that i just had to re-up on in my kit and my makeup kit and we'll go through that quickly elf i love this girl elf um grip primer love 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 had to re-up on her these two things are new but blush from juvia's place this is the peach rose blush like i said i am home and that's all for today all i'm doing for today that was my only appointment was getting my nails done and then i went on the town and treated myself because it has been a tough week and what do i do when there's a tough week i spend some money and that usually makes me feel better spend some money on things i like not just spending money that's well let's stop there but um yeah so today's been an awesome day i actually feel great about today i actually had a great time i had a great time vlogging so a lot more to come i think my next appointment is a lash appointment so i'll see y'all when i'm doing my lash and stuff besties so appointment number two i am on my way to get my lashes done and um yeah like i've been saying my lashes are bald i've been looking very bald in that lash area so it's time to get that fixed and squared away i'm so ready to get my lashes done i feel like i don't know which appointment i like the most but lashes are up there but like when you have lashes, it just changes your whole face. That's why I tell people, whenever people ask me, should they go and get mink? Should they go and get lash extensions? I always tell them, are you ready for your life to change? And I know it sounds dramatic, but like once you go, you don't go back. So that's always a question I ask. People ask like, should I, like, should I make an appointment? Should I go? I'd be like, girl, think about it. Do you want to be taking 100 to $200 out your pocket every month for lash? maintenance slash spills last year's done all of that like do you want to do that to yourself if the answer is yes then go ahead and make that appointment because i'm not gonna lie like i said it does it does its thing it eats like think hard and think wisely on whether you want to make that choice whether you want to come over here to the dark side but yeah y'all i'm speaking like it's some kind of life-changing thing <laughs> it's, it's really not but to me it is to me it's that important to me it's that serious and you know those like posts on instagram where they're like making you choose something if there was like they're like lashes hair nails what's the other thing people get done lashes hair nails or brows lashes and hair everything else can go i'm totally fine with it i'll be good with my lashes and my hair now Period. i'm sure that's the same for most of y'all i mean like why would you be it's only logical it's only a logical answer here like logically thinking Lash appointment today, hair done tomorrow, and then we'll be all done. I'm having an orange. I'm not orange. Anyways, I'm having a mandarin as a snack. As I wait for her to kind of like let me in. Y'all, why did I just get here? And and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm getting my lashes done. I'm about to be sitting on my back. Why would I put a low bun in? Do I think sometimes I don't? And I I was doing my hair and I was putting it in like a high, like messy bun. And then I was like, why am I doing it this way? I thought I wanted to do a low bun. 
forgetting that I had told myself to put it up because I'm going to be laying on my back. And I'm going to be uncomfortable the whole time because I'm going to be laying on this hump of hair in the back of my head. Like, I just have to make my life difficult for myself. I just have to. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. You know that lady that's on TikTok that chews and she's like supposed to be a Karen when their food is wrong? And she chews and she's like, I knew it. Every time I chew, I feel like I'm that lady. And it makes me giggle a little bit. So my lashes are done and this is the final look. As you guys may know, I've been doing shorter lashes um, more recently and I've been loving it. Like I love this look. I love the kind of like cat eye, the gradual increase in length plus the fullness and it's short. It's just like, it does it for me. I think this is so neat and so cute and it's gonna when I, I just can't wait to do my makeup honestly that's what i be waiting on i can't wait to do my makeup and it's gonna come to together but y'all look at my hair usually i have my hair in braids before i do my hair appointment because every time i take it out i don't know air hits it and it becomes like like you can't run your fingers well you can kind of run your fingers through it but y'all get what i mean don't act dense you can barely run your fingers through it so i'm gonna need to like blow dry the ends again just to make it like combable because if you haven't heard if you didn't know I am tenderheaded I'm very tenderheaded and I don't like people in my hair which is crazy because I keep my hair done so I just be giving over my fear because my hair needs to get done but it's the truth that was the only point for today hair done tomorrow <laughs>